to believe that genes were responsible for nearly all disease and that our unique genetic makeup determined which diseases we were going to get. However, this way of thinking was wrong. It isn't our genes that completely determines an outcome, but the way those particular genes are expressed. And this is where epigenetics comes in. Epigenetics is basically where external factors such as diet, stress, sleep, toxins, etc. either turn genes on or off. I thought this was a wonderful analogy. If you think of a human life like a movie, your cells are the actors, your DNA is the script, the DNA sequence are the words on the script. So the concept of genetics would be like the screenwriting. However, epigenetics is like the directing. The script can be the same, but the director can choose to eliminate certain scenes or dialogue, making huge changes and decisions and altering the movie for better or worse. For example, the Alzheimer's major susceptibility gene, APOE4, is found in the highest frequency in Nigeria but they have some of the lowest Alzheimer's rates. The truth is our genes don't have to control our destiny. Do you know what percentage of disease is caused by genes? It's believed to be only 5%. So that means 95% of all illness is caused by something else. Let's hear Dr. Michael Clapper as he shares his thoughts on this fascinating subject. Food is chemically alive. Every meal that you eat within minutes is flowing through your tissues. Every cell in your body is bathed from the nutrients from everything you eat. And in every one of your cells, your DNA is unfolded. And the nutrients from that meal wash through your cells and plays your DNA like a piano and turns genes on and turns genes off that turn enzymes on and turn enzymes off. Food you eat determines who you are on a cellular level. The science is called nutrigenomics and it's the study of how food affects us. You don't have to be a geneticist to understand that the genes are going to be turned on by this fuel mixture with all these contaminants and the proteins and enzymes they create is going to be much different than the proteins and enzymes created by whole plant foods that are rich in all these stabilizing phytonutrients. Food not only contains nutrients, it contains information. Your food stream runs through your tissues like a river, turning genes on and off in every cell. What's the quality of that river? If it is an animal-based processed food diet, that river is a polluted one. And I gave a talk to a mixed medical audience. There were hundreds of physicians there of every different specialty. And I said, colleagues, I care not if you are a cardiologist, an internist, a surgeon, a rheumatologist, gastroenterologist, dermatologist, pediatrician, radiologist, pathologist, when you open the door on your waiting room tomorrow morning, the vast majority of people sitting in those chairs waiting to see you are there because they're sick from what they've been eating. Stop looking for these subtle genetic variations on chromosome A21. The same toxic diet is bubbling up through all of the organ systems. Each one is going to erupt or react in its own special way, and they're going to see these different diseases. And the dermatologist is going to see the psoriasis, and the cardiologist is going to see the clogged arteries, and the internist is going to see the diabetes, and the endocrinologist is going to see the autoimmune diseases, and the rheumatologist is going to see inflammatory joint disease, and the gastroenterologist is going to see colitis and Crohn's disease. They're all looking looking at the same disease. In my office, when people sit in front of me, oh, high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, clogged up, uh, obese, doctor, why am I like this? Is it my genes? I've given the same answer so often I've had a plaque made up. It's the food. It's been the food all along. When people adopt a whole food plant-based diet, all these irreversible, relentless diseases I was taught never go away, they go away. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up Leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos. If you want to see what I'm eating, follow me on Instagram at 801010 in London.